Good afternoon, YouTube. It's a couple of years ago, I think, I made up this little four cell holder. So I just put a Dean's connector here on the side and wired up all the reds to one side, to the positive terminal, all the blacks over here. And I've used this for various things. Right now, what I'm using it for is I, I plug in my IMAX B6 in here and then just charge four cells up in parallel, bring them to a storage charge voltage. And since I've been testing these groups of ten individual cells with four, I gotta do four, and then I do four, and then I do two. So it takes quite a while to get ten cells back to storage charge. So what I thought I would do is expand this. I've got my connector here on the end. I'm gonna do a little bit of a change since these uh, holders don't have any wires attached. I've made myself a couple of jumper wires here. So this is a 14 gauge solid copper. And I think this one I'm going to be able to uh, fit it around here and get it to the positive terminal there on the bottom. And then I'll solder that to all these tabs here. Okay, there we go. YouTube got the bus bars positive down that side and the negative on that side. Got my two wires hooked up to the connector. So I put the positive on the bottom here because that way I can come around and then underneath. And then the negative comes from this side and up. And then that way I can plug in the Dean's connector off my IMAX B6 charger and then I'll just leave it set on storage charge and I can come in and load up as many cells as I want to bring back to storage charge voltage. So all I have to do now is just screw down the holders to this piece of wood and I'm ready to go. Okay YouTube, let's see, I think what I'll do first here is check my continuity. So I'll put, go on to the negative. Oh, I got a missing one there. Oh no, I just wasn't making contact on the terminals. Okay, and then if we go here... Looks like we got continuity all the way down. Okay, YouTube, we've finished here. This was a set of 10 of the BAK 18650 cells, 17565 milliamp hours. So I've got those down here on row four of my power shelf. So what I need to do is pull those out and we'll go load them up in the new charging fixture and we'll put these back on storage charge and then I can put another batch of batteries in here and run a capacity test on them. Okay, YouTube, here we go. We've got the 12 cell holder, like I say I'm only using 10 of the positions, but I drop the cells in there. And then one thing I always like to do is put as many identifying marks on there as I can. So here's my red for the positives. I got the black felt pen on the negatives and I also put a white dot there. I do everything I can to keep from putting things in backwards. But there we go, we've got 10 cells loaded up. I've got my IMAX B6 clone there on storage charge. I think one amp is the highest it supports. So like if we do that, I don't think it'll go above. Yeah, one amp is the limit there. So we'll do battery check. And the cells are discharged. There we go, 3.1 volts. There we go, now it's charging. So yeah, this might take 12 hours. I imagine it's going to take around 10 amp hours to bring all 10 cells up to storage charge. It's usually right around half their capacity. And at 1 amp, that'll take 10 hours, plus you've got the constant voltage charge, which takes a couple hours. So it may take about 12 hours to bring these up to storage. But in the meantime, I can go load up another set of cells in the power shelf and get them charged for testing. So this way I'm finally doing two things in parallel so I don't have a single bottleneck in my system. Just to show you my progression here, this was the first little parallel charger I built with two cells and then I showed you the four cell charger that I had before and now I've got a 12 cell. 
it's always handy having these extra little uh, charging gadgets like that because you never know how many cells you need to charge but now I should be able to handle up to 12 at once and that should get a good workout so anyway I just thought I'd show you my 12 cell storage charge cell holder so yeah if you have any uh, questions about that post up in the comment section below and I'll put some other cell testing videos over here on the left side you might be interested in and as always thanks for watching